In this video, we will look at how to use Excel's trend line function to find a function that will fit a set of data. Now suppose we look at the same example, the drug con concentration uh, problem, and we have the um, data given here in terms of two columns, T and X. And here is the graph plotted. Now what we can do to add a trend line is to uh, pick any data point, right click on the data point and uh, a set of uh, menu items in the drop down menu will appear and one of them is called add trend line. Left click on add trend line and you will get a, 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 a window and there are some trend line options here. Now earlier on we, s we have already established that the set of data seem to follow some kind of a decaying or decreasing uh, exponential function and so we will choose exponential uh, function as a type of a regression or trend. Now we would want to display the equation on, chart, on the chart so we check the display equation on chart box. Then once that is done all your conditions are um, uh, already set. You do not. You, you can, uh, of course, specify the line style, line color, and so on. But that's not really important. We can do that later. But once all these important things are set, that means the most important thing is to uh, establish what kind of trend line you want. So in this case, it's exponential. Once this is done, we can just close the window, and the trend line appears. And in this case, you can see that the um, the equation is given there as y equals to 101.56 e to the negative 0 0.012 x. So of course in this case the horizontal axis, our horizontal axis is t and vertical axis is x. So if we want to write this down properly in, in terms of our variable names it will be x equals to 101.56 e to the negative 0 0.012 t. 